Hello and welcome again to Stocks Advisor channel. In today's episode, we will talk about uh, life traded at Nasdaq company name Atir Pharma. Well, Atir Pharma today, of course, is showing a remarkable move from uh, opening at uh, 482 and finishing 614, making finally 26.34%. And of course, after hours trading minus 5.5, which is logical, especially if you look at the uh, final price action before the closure, it was just spiking up fast, so just healthy correction towards the, let's say, average trade price. And of course, these kind of movements are not happening for nothing. This is news based on positive expectation on biomarkers at phase two that was reported recently. And also the reason for such a huge growth uh, is the fact that the company is just 62 million market capitalization. So simply speaking, it's a one product uh, one principal product company, it's either kiss or kill approach. And uh, once if this is successful, of course, it will go high. If not, then of course, it will go to penny level. And in that sense, if you're betting on FDA overall, it's more casino style. If you're not a professional, of course, in uh, in this particular development. Otherwise, uh, for those who would like to trade based on volatilities, it's still possible, very nice opportunity here because we see the price was uh, spiking many times for this company, it's very spiky in that sense. We saw by uh, mid of December, also the previous wave was quite high. So now uh, price is heading upwards. It might still go even higher. Although if you look at after hours action, and if you look at the enormous volume that was traded today, of course, the shorting action is coming and most, most probably is expected here. So what we might have is either a cup and handle or skewed W. So if it will be cup and handle, it will be like this. It will, if it will be kind of a skewed W shape, it will be a bit lower and then going up. For both cases, we will be prepared now once we discuss how to enter, how to play. So let's do a quick analysis here. As always, we have three moving averages depicted at our daily charts. These are moving averages 20, 50, and 200. Here on the left, you see their legends being green, blue, and red line correspondingly. What you see that from a very strong bending that took place uh, by beginning of March, now it's kind of recovering on the news, but uh, still we need to understand this is just a positive news. Yes, this is true, but it's not the news that gives a guarantee for, for, third, for next best news because still it's a very small market capitalization. You still need to know the development, especially after phase two, might take a lot of funds. So this could also cause some problems. It might even be the offering coming. It's not that it's going to happen, but these are always the risks for companies, especially pharma companies with small market capitalizations. Of positive things, of course, that overall, the I would say the trading channels are quite high here. And in general, uh, if you enter lower level, you could still um, do nice profit. And all moving averages are now going up upwards with acceleration. So it might be still a nice moment to enter. But for tomorrow action, still the volatility is the key and the major risk because we know that even from the previous top that was above 825, we declined all the way to below 4, so more than two times decline and still volatility is possible. Uh, speaking of volatilities also and short action potential for tomorrow, we need to uh, expect the best entry opportunity here and it would be actually anything below 550 and all the way towards uh, this level, which would be actually about, uh, let's say, about uh, 510. So anything below uh, 550 to 515 even would be the best entry opportunity here to just to write volatilities as a first entry. And uh, let's write it here. Again, because this is very small market capitalization company, it still might be very spiky and therefore you need to take profit in time and then either re-enter or leave it and check other videos at our channel. There are many, we post daily many videos so you can always find something. Even those videos that up to five weeks ago uploaded to our channel are still fresh in the sense that situation discussed there could be just happening and you could be just in time to enter and make your profit. And speaking of profit making here, it's from 10 to 15% that we advise always from the funds that are allocated in the position. Really take it, enjoy it, and then either re-enter or check other, seek other opportunities. Never try to become rich from one trade decision, not possible and could be a recipe for a disaster. Actually, one of the reasons why um, beginners fail in the first year of their experience of, um, of trading actually. 
So with this being said, that's the first opportunity to enter. And then if spike takes place, you can still be there. Should we decline further, we little, little bit need to be prepared because this handle, if it's cup and handle kind of formation, could be a little bit lower as well. Just below moving average 50. If it goes there, it will open a new uh, very strong support channel, which will be anything below moving average 50. And this historically formed a very strong actually uh, volatility level here let's uh, write it and name it as v1 so the volatility level v1 and everything between moving average 50 therefore and volatility level v1 will be the second entry opportunity which will make it for us if we will write the numbers uh, the levels of 425 all the way to uh, 466 so this would be another level to enter yes the levels are quite broad here but also the volatilities are huge so you need to take this into account still this would be within the technical volatility because we might expect this decline and there will be even four levels today usually we discuss three but here will be four levels there will be two volatility average downs and one actually risk mitigation so first of volatility averaging down if instead of hand, uh, cup and handle we are going to form so-called skew w shape so it will be something like this so this blue line uh, here then we need to also enter a little bit lower to average down again and therefore uh, if we look of those levels it will be also clear level of 375 uh, which is also historically formed quite nice uh, volatility and actually all the way to 350 so this will create for us the third principal support level where actually the technical decline should stop and from there on only catalyst could kick in as a negative impactor so this would be 350 to 375 to enter again yes uh, of course the the rise the, di the difference between the levels is huge but as i said volatility is also quite huge here so if you are paying uh, playing cautiously, entering cautiously, averaging down cautiously, you should be quite safe and quite well here. It's although a very good exercise for your patience and actually ability to control yourself. So with this being said, that's the technical trade. Should the negative catalyst kick in something like reorganization uh, offering or whatsoever, because again, market capitalization is quite small. So for a company to proceed with after phase two, especially it could be very interesting, uh, let's say, strategy to propose an offering. Of course, then the price could go really down and you just need to be prepared for this action. And with this being said, this will be the final uh, principal support. Let's call it S1. And then everything below S1 will be an immediate buy for a principal averaging down. So with this being said, uh, you can say the S1 being a three. So anything below three would be immediate buy. And this would be a risk mitigation based <coughs> averaging down. So what does it mean, risk mitigation? It means that Actually, at our channel, we provide so-called mixed analysis where we take into account three pillars. So one is a classical technical analysis. Second is non-linear averaging down. That's what we discuss now based on support resist uh, channels, not just lines, but really principal channels of the stock being traded for the last half a year. And the third pillar is very important is mitigating risks due to negative catalysts. You never know when the negative catalyst will come, what it will be, but if it comes, it's better to have some funds to average down there and the principal levels of support rather than taking risks and cutting losses actually when so while others will be doing this if we go to that level hopefully not but if we do uh, you will be still uh, averaging down and preparing for a reverse and taking profit and speaking again of taking profit at any reverse it's still advised and you are really encouraged to take from 10 to 15 percent profit then check other videos other opportunities really become a trader with let's say uh, profitable trade taking your, your uh, profit enjoying it and then doing it again rather than trying to become rich from one trade so with this being said that's actually the numerical card uh, this is the graphical one if you're more for graphical representation uh, speaking of how to average down since it's four uh, levels and the last one is only for negative catalysts it's so called uh, six portions play so it's one one two and two that's how it's advised to enter here 
What does it mean? It means that the funds that you'd like to play here, you can split in six portions. Then you can buy with one portion in the first channel, again with one portion in the second channel. Should we go uh, to, the, to the third channel for technical average down, you can do it with two portions. And if negative catalyst kicks in, you can average down with two portions again. So with this, it will be the best optimization for profit versus loss and best possible major risks mitigation and should give you a profitable target of 10 to 15% of the, of the money allocated in the position. Still, it might take a little bit longer, of course, if you go to the final levels of support. But uh, our strategy, it's okay to take it a little bit longer, but it's better to exit with the profit. So it's a little bit different from those who still cut loss, uh, trying to save the time, hoping to make next trade to be profitable. This is usually what those who trade really on daily candles and 15 minutes candles do. But since our channel is more for daily trading on daily candles, more relaxed way, let's say, for those who do it as a secondary income source or just investment of uh, their major funds, uh, then you need to be, uh, in, say, employing more stable, more safe approaches and approaches that end with profit. So it might take a bit longer, but it's a profit or at least a draw. So that's how we optimize our levels and how our strategies here. So this is the situation for life. Good luck with it. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're first time watching our videos. And I see you at another episode of Stocks Advisor channel.